Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my voice did not just go there, that wasn't embarrassing or anything, but hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Pokemon Sun Wonderlock. Today, guys, we are this close to beating this LP. We're only going to have one video today, we did not reach the like goal yesterday, but hey, we only have two videos remaining, so we get to prepare for the champion. The champion's going to be the hard part. We're going to defeat... Hopefully defeat them. No, we're going to defeat them. We, we already know we're going to defeat them. We are going to be taking on Ace Rolla. Her name is something really weird. It's like Kakuli or something like that. Hold on. No, no. We're figuring this out. The Elite Four Sun and Moon. I want to find her name. I'm actually determined now. We are figuring out what her name is. Hala, Olivia, Ace Rolla, and Kahili. Kahili? I'm gonna say Kahili. I'm gonna say that's her name. My thing is lagging a little bit and I'm not liking that. But we're taking we're finishing the Elite Four. Last episode we took we defeated I'm gonna turn this off. I don't I didn't want to see what Pokemon I already know what Pokemon Ace Rolla has, but I didn't want to see the other Pokemon. Um We are gonna be taking on Ace Rolla and Kahili. Last episode we defeated Hala and Olivia without any casualties, but that was the easy part. We did we took them on first because I specifically am afraid of Kahili. Oh, I gotta heal up. Uh, she starts off with Sableye. I remember that because it fakes out. Alright, I think it... I don't know if it fakes out. I just remember it specifically. Um, we're going to take her on. I need to Paralyze Heal these guys. But tomorrow, we're going to take those two on. And tomorrow, we are going to upload the finale. The finale of the series, hopefully. As long as we don't lose... I can't imagine us losing. Our team is so solid. Our team is so rock solid. I can see us losing Pokemon. I can't see us losing. My team is so freaking good, and I love it. And we are, I think, I don't know what level the, I keep saying the champion. It's not the champion. It's the, I'm just going to keep calling him the champion. It's not technically the champion, uh, Kakui, but he's the last challenge to get to the champion. So I'm just going to keep calling him the champion. We take on Professor Kakui next episode, which he is the strongest guy. I think he's got like level 58s, if I remember correctly. I might be wrong about that. I remember seeing Incineroar. I think he's going to have Decidueye. Maybe? He might have Incineroar. I don't know. No, he's going to have Primaria. I took Litten. So yeah, he's going to have Primarina, I think. And then How had Decidueye. This is probably... I don't have good matchups against her team. I have a very good matchup against her Sableye. Other than that, it's going to be very iffy. Delmize, I remember... I remember her having Del Delmize, and I remember her having Sandy Gas. Which I really feel confident in Ninetales taking on. Yeah, Ninetales taking on. Araquanid would be good as well. I, I could just see us doing really good. I think Araquanid's gonna be big in this battle as well. It's got Crunch and massive special defense, which I think majority of our Pokemon are special specially offensive. So I'm feeling confident in our luck right now. Or, or in our chances at least. I didn't even read what she had to say. Guys, I'm completely out of it. Last night, the reason why there was no uploads on my main channel yesterday was because I helped out uh, Kayla with her computer. I helped her build it, and I didn't have time to really do that kind of stuff. And I also kind of wanted a day off just to rejuvenate myself. I did not rejuvenate myself, unfortunately. Building the computer, it's not yet done yet. It's not yet done yet. It's not done yet. It's just about done. Um, I think we didn't get done until almost 11.30 last night. And I didn't fall asleep until about 12 o'clock last night. And I that threw off my schedule because if you guys don't know I like wake I like going to bed at 9 p.m. And that threw me off so much. So I'm just completely out of it right now My brain is not working hundred percent. So if we lose Pokemon, it's because of my brain It's because well, it would have been because of my brain regardless, but it's because I'm not fully there is what I'm trying to say. I Hope she goes for fake out go for fake out The cheekiness of Nine Tails is about to come through, ladies and gentlemen. I love Nine Tails. I love Nine Tails. <gasps> yeah, just keep going for Fake Out. Yeah, look at Ace Roll in the back. Fake Out! I'm coming you! Just keep on going for it. She's stuck doing that. I think a Moonblast is a one shot, but I love the cheekiness. <laughs> I love it so much. It makes me so happy. I got coffee this morning. Yeah, it was a one shot, but who cares? I got to say that I encored that Sableye into <laughs> Fake Out. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Luxor, you're level. Oh, no. 
Wait, hold on. Let's check out your special attack. No. No. I like Roar. I don't think I'm ever going to use it, but the option's there. If something sets up against me, and I have the option to do that, I might as well. Why are you switching in Delmise to a Ninetales? Delmise has something for Ninetales. I don't know what it is, but it's got Gyro... Oh! It's got a Steel-type move. Okay. Delmise is Grass... Grass, uh, Ghost. And its ability gives it Stab... Steel. Can we go to Dragonite? It's not gonna have any... It's not gonna have any, uh... Ice-type moves, so I think we're fine. I can't imagine it one-shotting me either. I'm a Dragonite, alright? We wing attack this thing. We kill it. We destroy it, right? No. Not quite. That's not gonna knock me out. We're fine. Okay. So I probably had, like, Flash Cannon or something like that to hit my Ninetales with. Which I still think if I left Ninetales in there, Ice Beam would've one-shot it. I mean, that's Stab from a Ninetales. Super effective. I think it could've knocked it out, but it's not worth the risk. And we got Dragonite up to level 58. Okay, so two Pokemon down. Still haven't lost a Pokemon through the Elite Four. Araquanid's going levels like crazy. Frostlass. Okay, we're switching you the hell out of there. Ice Ghost. I don't have much for it. I think we got to Araquanid. I think we got to Araquanid and just crunch. Our last Pokemon. She's got three remaining? Th that was three in case you guys were wondering. <laughs> she's got three remaining. I just couldn't let my, my 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 second finger down. Yeah, she's got three remaining. One of them's Sandy Gast or Palo Sand, whatever it is. I don't remember. Oh. I don't remember what else she's got. I feel like it's something decent though. Araquanid. Anyways, this thing's not gonna be able to do much to me. It's not going to have anything super effective. That's going to do a little bit, but our special defense is through the roof. Araquanid could take that. Yeah, there we go. Thank you, Araquanid. This will easily one-shot it. It's a Frostlass. Really? I didn't think Frostlass had good defense at all. Full restore. God dang it. And I'm still confused. Araquanid, break through. Just snap out of confusion, please. No, or, or break through. That might even be better if you just break through. I have to heal you back up. I have to heal you back up. I don't like that. Full restore. Araquan is still the longest Pokemon we've, or is now the longest Pokemon we've had in this Let's Play. Now that we lost freaking Marowak, which I'm not happy about. Stupid how. And this stupid Raichu. This stupid crap. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. We're fine. We're good. Do not go for Confuse Rate, you stupid Frostlass. If we lose Araquanid because of Confuse Rate, I swear to God. Araquanid, please break through. Thank you, Araquanid. Critical hit? God dang it. Okay. I think she's going to heal again. I'm going to go for Leech Life. Yeah, because this isn't going to break it down anywhere near as far. But it'll bring it in range where I get some HP back and then also where I can one-shot it with Crunch. So this is the better option, I think. Alright, perfect. Give me some health back. Yum! Okay, yeah, that did a good amount. I know it was resistant and all that kind of stuff. I just wanted some HP back. Makes me feel a little bit safer. And now she doesn't have a chance to full restore. And we're going to snap out of Confusion. Take the Shadow Ball, no problem. Even with the minus one special defense. We didn't take that, no problem. Oh, I was really hoping you would snap out. Thank you, Araquanid. I love you, Araquanid. I have to switch him out regardless. I'm not leaving Araquanid in with minus one defense. Special defense. I think the next turn you'll snap out of confusion regardless, because I think that's the fifth turn. It's not worth the risk, though. It's either the fourth or the fifth. Palosand. I really wish I could keep you in right now. Um, Palosand is ground ghost. I say we just go... Does Dragonite have anything good against you? Aqua Tail. I'm going to switch you in. I want to switch out Ninetales, but I don't want to risk Ninetales before we go to the Bird Girl. Bird Girl scares me. Kahili. I don't like Bird Girl. 
I actually really, really like her. I want to marry her, but yeah, that's another story. I don't like battling her. This isn't going to knock it out. This isn't stab. That thing is bulky as hell. Holy crap. What? What Z mo Oh, it's Ghost. Oh, no. Dragonite. This is her ace? Dragonite, please. Please, I did not think that one through. I love you, Dragonite. I love you so much. <laughs> I am so unbelievably happy right now and so unbelievably tired. Uh, how much health do you have? 100. Jesus, you have so much HP. So this thing is now at plus 2 defense because I'm an idiot and didn't know about water compaction because I've never actually battled a Sandy Ghast. Or Palosand, sorry. Palosand. How much will that do? Okay. Um. I've got nothing to hit you with him. I think we're safe to switch into Ninetales here. Ninetales has good special defense and can easily out. It's timid nature too. It can easily outspeed this Palo Sand, and it should be able to one shot it. Okay, we don't risk it. We can take two. We can take two of those things as long as there's no special defense drop. We can take two of them once I'm full health because I was a little bit down underneath it. Thank you. Thank you for helping me out. I really appreciate it. You're plus four defense now, but that's that doesn't matter. You're just gonna die to this. Bye bye. Say bye bye. Bye bye, Palo Sand. Yeah, there we go. Okay, happy days. Palisade is gone. A little bit scarier than I wanted it to be. Espeon Girl level 57, beautiful. Driplim. We stay in. Driplim shouldn't have anything to hit me with. I think it gets like ominous wind, and that's probably what it's gonna go for trying to get the boost, but I think we're fine. Actually, it might have something weird. I feel like it's gonna have some weird moves. If we don't one-shot it. <laughs> Just one-shot it. Just kill it, Ninetales. You tried your best. Critical hit. Wow. What is Driplum special defense? And now it's going to be up to. Okay, please, please, please knock it out. Okay. It didn't. I was scared of it full restoring. Do not get the boost. Do not get the boost. Do not get the boost. Do not get the boost, you stupid blimp. I thought she was going to full restore, I'll be honest here. I should have just knocked it out. But I wanted to do that because I thought she was going to full restore. And then I was going to switch out to Tauros, who can just keep rock uh, to me it. Yeah, I thought that was a smart idea. I was all proud of myself for a second, but then I was like... Because Ominous Wind wouldn't affect Tauros. She can't switch out. She was screwed over. I thought it was a good idea. She didn't have any defense boost. She had special defense boost, so... I thought it was smart, but it worked out in the end anyways. We just took a little bit more health than we needed to. I was playing safer, I guess, but it was... It, 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 uh, yeah. Ooh, Ninetales actually has decent defense. I didn't realize that. I thought it was fragile as hell. You had really low special attack. I thought you had higher attack than, special attack than that. Hmm. I overestimated you, Ninetales. I never really looked at your stats. I just kind of assumed. I know you're fast as hell, though. I know it's that. We get you max EV'd out if I could, but we don't. Get you max EV, timid nature. Ooh. You have speed in most things, but not a Tapu Koko. Tapu Koko, timid, outspeeds you. Max, max EVs as well. I've learned that the hard way. I try to get that Aurora Veil up, but it never works out to the best. Um, let's heal up our Pokemon really quick. And then who does... From the rematches, so I've rematched, if you guys are wondering how I got like a few of my Pokemon up to level 100 and the other thing, it's I just keep rematching these guys over and over again. So that's how I try to remember these things. Um, she starts off with a Skarmory when you rematch her. So far, I think everything has been the same when you rematch the trainers, just higher levels. So if she's going to start off with a Skarmory. The Skarmory has Steel Wing. I don't have anything to hit. Was super effective, but let's just go Luxray. Luxray makes most sense. 
I want to kind of... So the thing I was thinking was, like, I don't want Luxray to take initial damage. And that Skarmory sets up spikes, which is annoying. And I think Stealth Rocks as well. Um, I think she gets spikes, Stealth Rocks. I might be wrong about Stealth Rocks. I'm not sure. Um, what's the other one? Steel Wing. Maybe Roost. I hope she doesn't get Roost. Okay. This is Kahili. This is my future wife. She golfs. I, you know, I got a scholarship for golfing. So maybe we can become married <laughs> so here you are <laughs> why don't we <laughs> so maybe we can become married that's where my head is today it is just completely out of it i don't know if i told you guys this but i waited 25 minutes for one cup of coffee this morning freaking i got to neaters i probably already explained this but i got to neaters there was no one in the drive-thru so i start pulling around i was about to get in the drive-thru someone pulled in right before me just Two seconds right before me. I was like, dang it. Hopefully she doesn't take too long. She took 25 minutes. So I sat in the drive-thru on my phone for 25 minutes. Just for one cup of coffee. It drove me insane. And at Neaters, for whatever reason, or Kneaders, whatever you want to call it. I like calling it Kneaders. Um, they don't have the person pull through. Because it's a bakery. It's not just like a coffee shop or whatever. So they'll like bake them breakfast and all that kind of stuff. They don't have them pull through and like go in the parking lot and then go hand them stuff. Which they should do that. That would make more sense. They just have them sit in the drive-thru. And by the time that person was done, there's, like, always, like, one car in the drive-thru. Like, they're normally, like, they're, there's no one going there because there's a Starbucks right next to it. Everyone goes to the Starbucks over that. But it just took so stupidly long. So stupidly long. I just wanted my cup of coffee. They knew, like, that I just had a cup of coffee. Just pull through and then go, like, hand them. It was it was smoothies, too. Like, they could have just taken the smoothie box and brought it out there. I think they got, like, three smoothies. It was stupidly long. Stupidly, stupidly long. Um, I'm going to go for Crunch. Reason being, she's got sturdy. Yeah, spikes. This is why. Wow, Skarmory outspeeds a Luxray? I didn't expect that. Well, I got no EVs on this thing. That was the issue with... That was, like, pretty much my thing. I could either train him up and get my other Pokemon up levels, too, because I'd have to baby him. And I don't want to get my other guys up levels. Or I could take the loss of not leveling them up and just wear candy Luxray. Where Luxray gets no EVs at all. So pretty much I lost during that. But I, I didn't want to get my Pokemon over leveled for the Elite Four of the Champion. Will Spark knock it out? That's how much Crunch did. Crunch is 80. No stab. No. No super effective. Spark is super effective. and Stab makes it go to about 100. We'll say about 100. Super effective. I think Spark will knock it out. Please. That's fine. Okay, Slash is the other move. I should only set up one spike, so I'm, I'm fine with that. Spark looks awesome. Spark looks awesome in this game. So if I went for a wild charge, I would have taken recoil damage. That's why I was debating it. And I want to make sure Luxray is as high health as possible. Or Ikurio. Um... If she's bringing in Ori Kurio, she's probably got something for my Luxray. Such as Teeter Dance or something stupid. I think her Ori Kurio is fire. We go out to Araquanid. No, we do not go out to Araquanid. It's flying type. Flying fire. Dragonite. Dragonite. Dragon or er, uh, Dragon Claw makes sense here. It's just a good move. Actually, Wing Attack is more powerful. Is it? I don't know with the Sharp Beak. I don't, I don't know how much Sharp Beak... Sharp... Sharp Beak... Ooh, uh -huh. Does. So let's just go for Dragon Claw. Oh, no. Let's go for Aqua Tail. Oh. That harshly lowers my attack, doesn't it? I hate you. That still did a good amount of damage that I'm very happy with. Let's go for it again. I was going to Thunder Wave you and switch... Please... Okay, you got a breakthrough here, Dragonite. And then you need to land this move, which has 75%. Odds are not in my favor. Yeah, odds are not in my favor at all. Okay. We go for it again. We can we can finish it off. Oh, oh. Now we got a breakthrough confusion. And now we got a flinch chance. And land it. Oh, we did it. Nice. Ori Kurio, get the hell out of here. Okay. So now we gotta switch Dragonite out. I'm not leaving Dragonite in here with minus two attack. Because that's all we have. We don't have any special attacks on you. Looks like you're level 57. Good. That's gonna help out a bit. Mandibuzz. Um. Dark Flying. 
I want to save Luxray. Just in case. So I'm going to go. This is the perfect chance for Nine Tails. And Mandibuzz does not hit hard at all. It's just very, very defensive. I don't know if it's specially defensive or defensive. And it's got pretty good HP as well. Oh, I forgot about the spikes. That's going to suck. Okay. Uh, we go for Moonblast because that's going to hit the hardest. Because it has 95 power. It's a dark type. Stab. That's That didn't do... Flatter? Is this like Swagger? That's like Swagger, but with... Oh my god, that's annoying. I mean, you boosted my special attack. I want to go for Encore really bad, but I'm not going to. Because I could just one-shot it, so there's no point in it. I love having Encore. Encore makes me so happy. Alright. You pretty much boosted my special attack. Thank you for that. It might have been a roll need for the, in order to knock you out there, but it didn't matter when you gave me the special attack drop. Or boost. Boost. I'm not used to saying you gave me the drop. God dang it. I switched out. Poison. Poison flying. Uh, Tauros. And we get the... We have Zen Headbutt. We have Rock Tomb. And we also get the Intimidate drop on this thing. So there's no sense in not going into it. Are we going to beat the Elite Four without losing a single Pokemon? Because if we do, that's absolutely amazing. I I really did not expect that to happen if we do this. There's two Pokemon remaining. Crobat, we shouldn't... I shouldn't say we ha shouldn't have... If she gets like a crit Brave Bird or crit Acrobatics, I don't know what move this has. I'm in trouble. But Zen Headbutt should do a massive amount to this thing. Why does everything want to confuse my Pokemon? Why is that the Leap 4 way? Why is it RNG? You guys don't know what RNG stands for. It's random number generator. That's what Pokemon uses in order to determine if you hit yourself or not. Or you land a move or anything like that. Now after the chances of flinches. That did way too much. Good job, Tauros! Actually, I'm going to keep you in here. There's no point in switching you out. Let's just full restore. Full restore gets rid of the confusion. And it also heals me up. So, yeah. Makes sense. That's why I bought them. That is why I bought them. Air Slash. Oh, thank you. The RNG is in my favor. That is a 95% chance to hit. Zen Headbutt. Please do not supersonic. You supersonic. I don't know how I avoided that. Supersonic, it does have a chance to miss. I was hoping that would one-shot you. All right. Rock Tomb has a better chance to hit it, and it will knock it out. Wow. <laughs> Toro's coming through. Toro's coming through. I love you, Toro's. I love you, Toro's. 4,070. Jesus. That gave a lot of XP. Dragon Egg grew level 59. I think Professor Kakui's Pokemon... I, I, for some reason, I keep thinking it's got something that's level 58. I don't know if that's his ace. I just remember 58 for some reason. I might be incorrect about that. Two cannon. Luxray, come through, please. This is why we brought you Luxray. Just to... J I pretty much chose you. Or you guys kind of chose him. That's not why we brought you. But this is why I wanted you. For this specific trainer. And we've used you once. We can one shot you. Spark. Right? Okay, that's fine. Wait, is this going to burn me? I think this move burns me if I make physical... Th I should have wild charged. Oh, we got the paralysis too. And yeah, there's the burn. Wait, no, that's a... I thought it was like Focus Punch. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. I thought that was like... Oh, well, if I would have gone for Wild Charge, I would have been knocked out. All right. Um, I would speed... I don't know if I outspeed it. I don't know if I outspeed it. Useful Restore. I went first because it went for Beak Blast, which I thought was like Focus Punch, where if you got hit, it doesn't work. That's a confusing move. I gotta see... Copycat. I think this thing still has the Z, the Z, uh, Super Sonic Strike or something weird like that. We Wild Charge. We just knock it out. Oh, thank you. I thought I, I, I kept it in my mind thinking that I outspeed it. If that thing hit me with the Z move, even though I resist it, I think I would have knocked myself out with a recoil from that. So we did not lose a Pokemon. We beat the Elite Four without losing a Pokemon. Oh my god, my team is amazing. Oh my god.
So many Pokemon. I don't think I used Espeon that much. I actually might have used Espeon. No, Araquanid was kind of my MVP throughout the entire Elite Four. Yeah. I think Espeon Dragonite. Two of my newest Pokemon. Other than Luxray. Which Luxray we didn't really use at all. I think we used him for two Pokemon. <laughs> and he had Crunch. I could have used him against Ace Rolla. I actually had some good matchup against Ace Rolla. I thought I was going to have a bad matchup. I, I, I'm I'm not functioning, so I'm not listening to you. But we still have the hardest... I feel like we we're going to beat him. I really feel like we're going to beat him. I would have issues if we... I'm going to save right here. I would feel like we would have issues if we lost some Pokemon during that. But we did not. So if I was on to four Pokemon, I would be terrified. But we're still at six Pokemon. I feel like we could 1v1 Professor Kakui, no problem. But it all comes down to that. That's going to determine... Well, yeah, that's pretty much going to determine if we win this or not. Kind of scary. Anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like. The finale will be up tomorrow, which I'm very excited for. And I'm working on a VGC team. I should be able to get that out, hopefully, the day after tomorrow. So once the... Once this Let's Play is done, we switch off to another Let's Play, which I already think I know what I'm going to do. I don't know when that'll be coming out. But then, we're also going to be doing VGC, which I'm very, very excited for. So anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Oh, we beat the Elite Four. Get out of here. <gasps> You're not